Workers have been accused of misconduct, including one involved in that recent kidnapping case. Our crime reporter Henry Lee explains both the mayor and the police chief say they want to get to the bottom of this. It's been a steady drumbeat in recent weeks. Allegations of misconduct by young San Jose police officers, drug and alcohol use, lewd acts, and other misconduct, both on and off duty. We have a serious problem in SJPD. It requires remedial action immediately. San Jose Mayor Sam Licardo is calling for random drug and alcohol testing for all officers, not just ones in specialty units. Nothing angers a good cop more than a bad cop. And I know uh, that the overwhelming majority of officers in this department are furious as I am. It began with revelations that rookie officer Dijon Packer had died from a fentanyl overdose at his home in Milpitas, a startling turn for the former San Jose State football star. Then another officer turned in by an FBI agent for allegedly being drunk while helping the search for a kidnapped baby boy. A third officer, Matthew Dominguez, was arrested Thursday and charged with indecent exposure for allegedly touching himself in a home in front of three female relatives of a mentally ill man. A fourth officer, Yannick Mendez, was cited and released for DUI after the CHP says he caused a crash on 880 near Tennyson and Hayward before dawn Friday. And most recently, revelations that a fifth officer had improperly given a meth pipe to an informant in exchange for information. We really need to take a hard look at our hiring standards or backgrounding process. Sergeant Sean Pritchard, head of the police union, says these officers facing allegations don't represent the hardworking officers in the department. Some of these are absolutely very serious uh, criminal allegations. And again, if they're proven to be true, then these individuals do not belong in law enforcement. They are susceptible to all the evils in the world, just as we all are. And what happens uh, when they become a police